Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on December 14th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the day of this total, total solar eclipse that is happening over South America. Starting out here looking at our sun as there was a small CME ejection in the last few images there, the last 48 hours on our sun. Looking here at incoming images large plasma filament erecting from the southwestern limb looking at outgoing and just recently there was a large plasma filament eruption as well in the outgoing images but looking here at another light and you can really see the effects of the CME just amazing active sunspot region coming in no earth facing coronal hole no earth facing sunspot and looking at the last go to image you can see small ejection there looking at our magnetosphere solar wind and this is the last six hours so we're going to watch for these maps to change dramatically as we are expecting a little bit of space weather within the next 12 to 24 hours. Another look here at Lasco 2 and Lasco 3. That's a pretty sizable eruption. Coronal mass ejection, large plasma filament eruption. Not in an earth facing direction, but it is on the incoming limb. Stay tuned to the dew. Looking here at the real time solar wind, we are steady at about 351 kilometers per second. A little bit of missing data overnight as we are coming down in the solar wind speed. Having a look here, Schumann residence for today, and we are at a power of 40. Small spike today during the solar eclipse. As well, during the solar eclipse, we had some earthquakes. We're going to be looking into that. Looking here, power up at 7.2 megahertz. And for the last 24 hours, earthquakes, most recent here, a 4.9 Mina, Nevada. And that has been swarming, moving towards Mono Lake. It's been a very active day across North American plate. Idaho as well, rocking. Lima, Montana with 3.7 just west of Yellowstone. Stay safe, stay safe, stay aware and prepared. Just be ready and have a plan. All of this activity around the fault lines and volcanoes is a bit worrisome. As well, 4.4 reported here in Hawaii. And that is on the northern ridge of Pahala. Lots of activity across the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska. Some large atmospheric events affecting them right now. Large low pressure systems have been hammering there for about a week now. So uptick in seismicity continues all along the ridge down into Russia. Quiet all along Western Ring of Fire. The only earthquake 4.4 there, Marianas Trench. And then here in Fiji region, lots of earthquakes, deep 530 kilometer depth, 5.6, and as well a 5.0, 4.6, 4.9. And this is right underneath the two tropical storms that are spinning on the planet. 
And then the largest last 24 hours early this morning, 6.0 Calama, Chile. And that was right as the solar eclipse was occurring across South America, right in the region where the solar eclipse occurred. Santiago, Argentina, 4.8, 4.4 there, Chile. So very interesting indeed correlation between this solar eclipse and I had put out an earthquake warning and as well a volcano activity warning for from pretty much the 14th till the new year. So stay safe, be ready because it's happening. It's happening. A lot of activity across eastern ring of fire, but not the west. And as well, a 5.8 reported here in the Norwegian Sea and a 10 kilometer depth. So North Pole seeing some activity as well. Arctic Atlantic Ridge. And have a look here at the last seven days for earthquakes. And you can see North America very quiet compared to the rest of the Ring of Fire. Something's got to give here soon. And I do believe the Cascades are on watch right now and will be until the new moon coming up on the December 17th, I think it is. Lots of deep earthquakes in the past west and now everything seems to be moving to the east side ring of fire quite across the african plate and south america starting to increase in the deep activity especially with the large 6.0 this morning in chile let's get to the pacific disaster center where we look at the last and latest volcanic activity report updates looking at Popo as well Senge, Fuego, Swiss and Ajima, Dekono, Etna, lots of activity today, Reventador, Kluchevskoy, Era, Karamiski, Cinnabung, Ibu, Semeru, Santa Maria, and Guatemala. Very active day for volcanoes. So, correlation. Yes, indeed. Coincidence, not at all. Looking here at Tropical Storm Zazu, who is heading towards the Fiji Islands and then going to head eastward. As well, there's Tropical Storm Yasa, just west of them, heading towards New Caledonia. As well, watching a quite a disturbing, it almost looks like a tropical system forming here off the coast of Brisbane, Australia, and heading southward. So watch for extreme weather to head into the Sydney area as that system moves southward. As well, lots of cloud cover and lightning strikes across Australia. Thoughts and prayers. I'm sure you're going to see a lot of fires uh, sprouting up after all of these storms. Many lightning strikes. Also observing this huge low pressure system in the Atlantic and as well the organizing systems in the Pacific. Just very strange weather, everybody. Be ready. Because look at our northern hemisphere, looking at null school. This is our split polar, polar vortex. And yes, winter is here. And it is going to come with a brute force with these strong upper level winds. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, looking in Calgary, Alberta. Very cold northern hemisphere, strong high pressure ridge across the North Pole and kind of a wild ride as low pressure systems come in to the west coast and bring some chinook like weather and then finally those cold temperatures are going to move in from the north but for now we're going to see a wild ride throughout the week some chinook weather that alberta clipper forming throughout the week just missing Calgary, maybe get a dusting, but it's the system later in the week that comes from the north that it will bring some snow towards the Alberta region, but most of the action will be in the United States as the Colorado low moves to the east coast and out into the Atlantic and an Alberta clipper forms here Thursday to Friday heading eastward into the Hudson's Bay area. And watch for that system to bring some blizzard-like conditions across Manitoba, northern Ontario. 
cold conditions across the upper Midwest and wet conditions across the Canadian West Coast as these systems keep coming in. And this large low pressure system, which I've been watching for the last few days, is just now going to get out of the Sea of Osk and head eastward into Alaska. So watch that for that large low pressure system to affect and increase the activity across Alaska. Cold temperatures from Russia now, eastern Russia, will be fueled down by that split polar vortex, which I showed in the beginning. Five-day forecast showing cold temperatures moving westward into Europe as well. So parts of Eastern Europe starting to cool down. And then across Central Europe and the United Kingdom, watch for that low pressure system to just bring, keep bringing in the Atlantic moisture. Five-day forecast showing a very large low pressure system right over top of you guys. So no sun for you, apparently. <laughs> and yes, thoughts and prayers. And thank you, everybody, for almost 14,000 followers. This is amazing. Thank you all so much for joining the family. I appreciate you watching and tuning in, choosing Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Overlooking India, lots of moisture and rain towards southern region Sri Lanka and as well into Yemen and then Australia watch for this large low pressure system to form later in the week it could be a tropical storm definitely going to be keeping an eye on that in the long range forecast but showing here that low pressure system affecting eastern seaboard of Australia and some really warm temperatures across southern or central continent. And then we have Zazu and Yaza, tropical storms. And this is the path that they are going to be taking. And you can see there, Zazu is going to be heading straight over the Fiji Islands. Very interesting indeed. Thanks everybody for watching. We're going to keep looking here. Now we're over South America. Daily evaporation rains heavier towards Panama and up into Guatemala moving northward. South America, daily evaporation rains heavier towards the Chile and Argentina border later in the week. Leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern. Thanks again for everybody for watching and joining the channel. I appreciate your support and your loyalty. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye. And don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.